Hi guys, it's so lovely to see you. Welcome. Um, Mr. Sausages here is very happy to have you with us and welcome back everyone who's joined from before and um, welcome as well to all the new friends who are coming along tonight. I know a lot of you have heard about me through Louise, Mum of Boys and Mabel. I've been a big fan for a long time, so it's really lovely to have you. Thank you so much for joining. So a couple of introductions. First of all, here is the star of the show. This is Soggy Rabbit, who's very excited to see you. And this is Soggy's friend, Bestie, who's always very excited. So Bestie, we just let Bestie do one shout out. Yes, we do, because he's a slightly crazy dancer and um, can't be trusted. Um, here is Leon. He's um, he's very big. Look, you'll have to bend down. Leon is my son and Leon is in the chat. So if you type into the chat, Leon will be able to see and I will be looking as well. And hopefully we can respond to everything you say. So um, if you want to put shout out requests or if you want to tell me that the music's too loud or anything like that, put it in the chat and we'll be really happy to hear from you. Now we have someone to introduce as well. This is Wilf's Catty. So Wilf, if you're watching, I think you might be a little bit surprised to see your Catty there. And I wanted to say, isn't it cool how Catty looks so like Mr. Sausages? That was a total surprise to me. So today we're going to be finishing off Catty's portrait. So we're going to do some drawing. And this is where I show you my drawing here. And I'll be talking you through the process. I have to warn you, this is live, so um, it's, it can be a little bit glitchy. And I've been having some problems with this recording of the video. But um, anyway, we've got the picture as well. So I'm going to do the final touches of Catty's picture. So Wilf, if you're listening, please put in the chat um, or Louise, if you're doing it on your phone, um, put in the chat what you would like for your title. Um, if I don't hear from you, I'm going to assume you want Wilf's Catty, but let me know if that's the title and that's okay with you. And if you want a heart, because I can always um, make adjustments because it's doing it in real life. Okay, so the other thing we get up to is Soggy Rabbit looks in the chat which um, you can see if you go onto the website onto soggyrabbit.com slash live and in there you can type some mes messages so I can see Ant, it's lovely to see you, you're in there and Ange and Sansi, hi, really nice to see you. So um, then what happens is Soggy Rabbit looks in the chat, gets a name and does some drawing. So Soggy Rabbit draws their name here Come on, Soggy, let's show you. Here he is. And then, extra special, he takes them for a dance. Now, I'll show you the. There we are. So that's Soggy Rabbit's drawing room. Now, when Soggy Rabbit goes for a dance, he takes them into the special dancing room. And I'm going to show you that in a second. So a couple of weeks ago, Tilly was watching and Tilly, I don't know if you're watching now. Hello, if you are. So Tilly was inspired to do her own shout out for her own toy, Rosie. So I'm going to show you the dancing room with Tilly's Rosie in it. Are you ready? Now, it's a little bit noisy in that dancing room, but it's lots of fun. Here we go. I'm going to take you in for a second. that so I hope that when you've seen how easy it is and how much fun it is you might want to pick up your pencils and do some curly writing like Soggy Rabbit too. Okay so the picture of Wilf's Catty is something we're going to dip in and out of and I'm just showing you now um, some clips of how I did it and I'll talk you through the process. So what I do is I use a 
um, amount card just to keep an eye on the proportions of the picture. So if you're doing a picture and you want to make sure that it's um, uh, that it fits the page, it's always a good idea to have a plan and think where's the top going, where's the bottom going. And if you're going to do your picture in ink or paint, then sometimes it's nice to sketch it out. And that's what I'm doing here. So I'm sketching in pencil and I've got a nice soft pencil. It's a, it's a 6B pencil. So here's the pencil that I'm using and it doesn't dent the paper because it's so nice and soft. And uh, oh, hello, I can see Derek's watching on Trip Twitch. Lovely to see you, Derek. Thanks for joining the chat there. So um, I use my trusty pencil and then a little bit later on, you're going to see, hopefully if the video works, my pen. So I use a traditional dipping pen. Now, I think that's probably enough chat for a while. I think it's time we did a shout out. So I'm going to take you into the choosing place Soggy Rabbit is going to have a look in the chat and let's see so first shout out request is oh Wilf okay I can see you'd like Catty as the title and um, did you say Leon there was Leon S a shout out okay right let's sort Soggy Rabbit out ready and take you into the drawing room here is Soggy Rabbit. Say hello. There we go. Hello to Leon S. Right, you've got your pen. Leon S, it's very nice to have you on the show. That's another Leon. Okay, Soggy, are you ready? You are. Right. Here we go then. Best writing. Okay. Oh, soggy, that's lovely. Yeah, you're starting as you mean to continue. Leon. Very nice. Oh, you want to do some hearts, do you? Okay, lucky Leon S. I expect he'll be delighted with that. Okay, now what must we always remember? Yes, we always remember to put the lid on our pen. Very good. Now, would you like to take Leoness into your dancing room? You would. Okay, come on then. Off we go. That was very good. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that, Leon. Lovely. Right, so now you've seen what a shout out is. If you would like one for yourself, then don't hesitate to put your name in the chat and Leon is waiting to hear your requirements. So it's very exciting. Okay, and Derek, if you want to put one in or anyone on Twitch who's watching, you're also welcome to put a shout out. So I can see that chat as well. Right. So let's have a look at this picture, see how it's coming on. So you can look at Catty's beautiful markings there. Catty's got a lovely kind of triangle on the top and um, beautiful shiny eyes and a really well-loved appearance. So to start with, I'm using my putty rubber. Putty rubbers are brilliant here, look at this. They're a bit like blue tack but um, you can stretch them and you can rub them into, you can knead them into a little point like that, which is really good for um, fine detail. And you can almost draw with them. So you can squish through um, pencil and make light marks. So what I, what I, because I'm using this soft pencil for Catty's portrait, and I hope you're enjoying watching this, Wilf. And I wonder if Mabel and Stanley are also watching. That would be nice. Um, so 
uh, I'm just using the rubber and refining the shapes. So the nice thing is at this point, it really doesn't matter if I make any mistakes because I can sort them out with the rubber. And um, one of the things I was going to talk about today was making mistakes and how sometimes when you're drawing, accidents can actually be really good. So we don't worry too much about accidents. So when we've got our rubber, obviously we can change them. But once we start with the ink, you can see now on this um, recording here, I'm opening up the ink and dipping my ink pen in. So once I start with the ink, there's no going back. So I'm very happy that I've got this first draft with um, Catty drawn out in pencil. And there the ink, you can see it's coming out. When you first dip the ink pen, it can be quite dry. So it's really nice to um, dip it a couple of times and then try it on a piece of test paper. So always good to have a piece of test paper. Look how much, mine's got lots of, lots of marks on it. And then I start to think when I'm doing the drawing about where the light's coming from. Always really good if you're doing a drawing of something solid. I'm going to borrow Soggy Rabbit for a minute to show you. If you have in your mind where the light's going to come from, you can think, right, all this side will be a bit lighter and then this side's going to be darker and later you'll see how we put the shadows in. But doing that, um, that decision early on means that when I'm doing this inking now, I can make my lines heavier on the dark shadow side. And later on when I'm doing the picture, I'll be really glad of that because I'll be putting lights on the light, darks on the dark side, and the picture starts to look 3D. So that's how we make things look not so flat. Right then, I'm thinking I might have a, another a jolly good look at Wilf's Catty. Can you see how similar Wilf's Catty looks to my Mr. Sausages? So there's my Mr. Sausages just sitting on his blanket and Wilf's Catty's got exactly the same markings and also a lovely dark grey tail as well. I thought that was so exciting. I was really pleased when I noticed that. Right then, Leon, how are we doing for shout out requests? Oh, right. If you want a shout out request, I suggest you get them in quite soon because we've got a few already and we do have limited time. Right. Lucy, okay, Lucy H. Um, so if you write in the chat exactly what you want Soggy Rabbit to write on the board, and I'm going to choose at random which one we give to Bestie. Okay, so Lucy H, I'm going to put your shout out. Let's have a that's a little taste of the dancing room and see if Soggy Rabbit is ready for Lucy's shout out. Hear a bit of rustle, rustle, rustle. Right, soggy. There we go. Lucy. Soggy, are you ready to do Lucy's shout out? You are. Fantastic. Right, Lucy. I hope you've got your dancing shoes on and maybe you've got a pen as well. Maybe you could do your own name after this. Okay. Lucy H. Right then, soggy. You know how to spell Lucy, don't you? Okay, lovely. Here we go. Very nice. Do you have a plan, Soggy Rabbit? You do. Okay. Here we go. Ah, I see your plan. Very nice. Well done, Soggy. And you want to do the H as well. Okay, here we go. Hmm. <laughs> that is a very curly H. Yes, it is. And do a little heart for Lucy. Very good. Right. Oh, yes. Thank you. Mustn't forget to put the lid on. Now, would you like to take Lucy into the dancing room? You would. OK, then, Lucy, get your dancing shoes on and everybody else. Let's go for a dance.
well done. Right, you blow a kiss for Lucy. Sorry, Soggy, you got a bit of a muddle there, didn't you? Yes, okay. So you want to say thank you to Lucy. Hope that she enjoyed that shout out. Right, should we go and see how Wilf's picture's getting on? Come on then, let's go and see. Right then, here we go. So, Catty has got quite a lot of um, really nice ink lines now and you can see that the texture is starting to go on. So catty has got some beautiful long fur and then also some shorter bits where it looks to me like Catty's had a bit of an adventure and perhaps had some... Um, some, some fur has gone awry. Anyway, catty has got wonderful character and that's what we want to capture here. So I'm capturing some of the texture, particularly on the right hand side as we look at it, because that's where the light is for, uh, where the shadow is. And then when I come to do the light side, and I'm going to use this with my favourite pens. This is an Uni Posca pen. And I use this for the light side, so I'll put some texture with this on, on the light side. It's quite a clever trick, but it works really well. So um, you can see, talking of happy accidents, can you see that over Catty's eye, there's quite a sort of mark, and that's a, that was just a mistake where I dropped the ink. And I haven't worried about it, because you'll see later, it really doesn't matter, and it all gets lost in the texture. So, can you guess why I'm putting this um, mount card on? I'm just trying to make sure that I've got room on the picture for every bit that I need to remember. So I need to remember to leave the space at the bottom for what do you always put on your pictures. I hope you do, if you do pictures um, for people or for yourself, it's always important to sign your pictures so that when you are um, old and grey like me, then you will be able to see, people will be able to see who did that picture and when. So it's always nice to maybe put the date on the back and sign your name. So a little bit more texture going on to Will's catty there. And just showing all that well-loved, you can see how that little mistake is getting lost already. Really easy. And um, later on, I'm going to use the ink pen to put the um, shadows in. So where Catty's um, weight sits, and I'm going to try and give Catty some sort of bulk um, by putting some lines underneath. Anyway, you'll see that in a minute. So how are you doing, everyone? How's it looking? I'm going to have a little peek in the chat. Soggy couldn't get his shoes tied up in time. <laughs> That's completely true. And thank you, Tilda. You think it's amazing. I'm so happy, especially because, Tilda, we're going to be drawing your nonny next week. So I'm really excited about that. OK, right. So is it time for another shout out? What do you think? I think it might be. Let's go and have a look in the chat and see who's next. Stanley, okay, Stanley, right. Let's see if Soggy Rabbit is a bit more ready this time. Soggy's got a slightly new system. You ready, Soggy? There we go, you don't you need your pen. Right, here we go, Soggy, there's your pen. Soggy, all ready for Stanley's shout out. Okay then, right, here we go. Going to wave hello to Stanley. Yep. Oh, and to Wilf and to Mabel. There we go. Right. Come on then. Let's get the lid off. There we are. Right, Stanley, I wonder if you like doing calligraphy. I wonder if you like doing beautiful writing. It's such fun. Here we go. Right, now you have to think about your page, Soggy Rabbit. Think how much room you've got and you want to do a nice big Y. So let's start up here. You ready? Off we go. Oh, lovely curly. Oh, 
very good. Have you forgotten something? You have, Soggy. Think about it. Yes. Well done. There we go. That's better. Okay. Oh, you'd like to do a flower for Stanley, would you? Is that because you like flowers? What do you like about flowers? Oh, you like eating them. Okay, right. Now, you would like to take Stanley into the dancing room, wouldn't you? So, Stanley, if you like dancing in shoes, put your dancing shoes on. And if you don't, like Soggy Rabbit, just get those feet out. Off we go. Soggy. Very good. Did you enjoy that, Stanley? Okay, Soggy, are you going to wave goodbye to Stanley? Bye-bye. Blow my kiss. Okay then. All right. Right now, let's go and see how Catty's picture's getting on. Okay, so can you see on Catty's picture now, I'm using that putty rubber so the ink has dried. It doesn't take very long, it takes about 10 minutes because the paper I use is very absorbent. It soaks up the ink and it dries quickly. So now I'm using my putty rubber to get rid of all the pencil marks very carefully. So we get a nice fresh start and that means when I put the colour on, the colour doesn't muddle up with the grey of the pencil. So I hope you think this is starting to look like Catty now. I wonder if you like working this way. Sometimes it's nice just to work in the ink and not worry about the pencil. And sometimes you get those happy accidents that actually make your picture look better and it looks really fresh and lovely. But when I'm doing these soft toy portraits, I need to get a good likeness. So I don't know if you can see, let's have a quick look at that reference photo. So you can see here, I've got two reference photos. One is showing Catty's tail. So I'm using the one on the right, but it's in the middle if you count Mr. Sausages for the main picture, but the other one for the tail. So it's really useful to um, have more than one photo. But also the reason why I use the pencil first is to try and get the proportions right. So I like to make sure that the the head is the right size, the, the feet are the right size, and that it all, I try and imagine if Catty was to step off the page, would Catty look like the Catty in the photos? And that's a really good thing to remember. So I'm going to um, get my coloured pencils out now. And this is how I sharpen my pencils. Obviously, this is a grown up thing to be doing. So a lot of people like to use pencil sharpeners but um, when artists sharpen their pencils, they often use knives. So you wouldn't do this yourself at home, but um, it's a really good way to make sure those pencils are nice and um, fresh and long. And then I've got another trick. Here's something that you could do. This is sandpaper. So if you want to freshen up your pencils, and um, particularly if you're using white pencils on a darker background, it's really good to sand them and this is just normal sandpaper and it means that the that the pencil um, the pigment comes out really nicely onto the paper so what we're going to do now is what's called blocking in I'm just going to ask the chat in case there's anyone there can you tell me does my volume sound all right is my microphone okay can you hear me all right and is the music all right, too loud, too quiet. If anyone could let me know, that would be wonderful. Oh, someone has asked, um, what is your favorite color pencil to work with? What type of pencils do you, and that's from Kez. Thank you, Kez, that's a lovely question. Well, yes, I do. Um, now, let me see, I'll get my pencils to show you. Excuse me, got a big, 
right, load of tummy there. Right, so these are the pencils that I like to use. Um, well, there's one I've used a lot. <laughs> Can you see? Um, and then this is the uh, full length. So the ones I use usually are Derwent drawing pencils. And what I'm doing in the picture now is blocking in. So that's when you just get the big blocks of colour and I don't worry about detail. I'm not worrying about the texture. And also it's quite rough. So you can see I've got a wooden drawing board under there and that gives a little bit of texture as well. It's really nice and it means that um, Catty doesn't look too fussy or flat or simple and it's got really nice kind of vibrant texture so I like doing that but obviously if I was doing a really smooth toy or something shiny I might just do it a bit differently so you have to kind of think about what the texture is of the toy that you're drawing and I really hope that when you see this you're going to be inspired to do some drawing of your own oh thank you Derek is telling me my voice sounds fine that's great volume wise I suppose um, okay and here I'm using this is another favorite pencil now this one isn't a proper artist's pencil this is actually a Gruffalo pencil that I got in a kit so on the picture now what I'm doing is I'm comparing two greys so I have a, a grey that's like a bluey can you see the difference one of them is a warm grey and the other one is a cool grey and I'm looking at the photos of Catty and you can see that I've gone for the, I hope you can see, I've gone for the warmer grey, so the less bluey one. Because I think if you look at the photo of Catty, and I'll show you the, there we go, so that's the actual photo. Can you see that's not a bluey grey on Catty, it's a very warm grey. So now that that uh, warm grey is starting to fill up some areas, you can see the, the wonderful colouring on Catty. And later I'm going to go in with some texture and also go in with um, another layer. So I'll put another couple of layers of colour. Sorry, my light went a bit slippery there. Um, so I'm going to build up the colour in layers. Now you can see all my, all my clobber. Right then, I think it's time for another shout out. What do you think? What do you think, Neil? I think so. Do you want to come on camera for a minute? Show your face? Show them the face behind. Hang on, I'll get us into a bigger screen. There we go. Right. So how's it looking? It's looking very good. And um, loads of people have put some really good shout out. And um, Thank you for commenting on the sound, it's been very useful to hear that it's all good. Yeah, thanks everyone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, we're ready for, our next right ready for a shout out. Okay, off we go. It's so nice guys, it feels like we're sort of in the room. We've had to get used to this, haven't we, a lot over, over lockdown, not being right in the room with our friends, but um, it's really nice. It feels like we're nearly in the room with you. Okay then, right, Soggy, let's have a look. At the chat and see we've got Maria okay right then Maria and right then Soggy ah okay so Soggy would like to invite his friend Bestie come on then Bestie in you come okay right they're gonna have a little chat fine now Maria, Bestie is doing your shout out. Bestie is only allowed to do one a week. And I'm going to give Bestie a blue pen to do it with today. Right, are we ready? Oh, you are. Okay, now I'm afraid Bestie gets so excited. Um, it's a bit difficult to predict how the writing's going to come out but sometimes Bestie is surprisingly good at this aren't you yes okay off we go it's, excuse me is that a capital A or a little one? a little one okay right Maria with two A's here we go
Oh yes, oh yes, oh, come on bestie, that's enough, that's enough. Don't get too carried away before you've written the word. Right, ready? Try and look at your paper. Very good, okay. Lovely, uh, bestie, hello. Hello, what is this? What's going on, bestie? Yes, I thought that was very nice too. Okay. And what have you forgotten? The other A. Yes, come on then, let's put it in here. Very good. That's very nice and careful. Well done. Yep, let's put this on. Oh, you're trembling with excitement. Do you want to take Maria in for a dance? You really do. Okay, come on then. Well done, Bestie. I hope you enjoyed that. Now you can have a nice big sleep. And here comes Soggy Rabbit as well. Do you approve, Soggy Rabbit? You do. Okay. Right. Would you both like to say goodbye and thank you to Maria? You would. Okay. Lovely. And you can have a nice rest. Why don't you have a rest like that? I expect you're tired after that. And let's have a look at how we're getting on with... Catty's portrait. Okay, lovely. So I hope that you can see now that I'm starting to put in some of the texture on Catty's portrait. I've got a chocolate coloured pencil and a black. They both look very dark, but like with the greys I was talking about before, they are very different. So it's really nice to think about. So the brown, the chocolatey brown is a warmer colour and black tends to be a cooler colour and we talk about them in terms of temperature. So we think of things, colours that are more towards the sort of reds and oranges of Soggy Rabbit's dancing room today are um, what we call warm colours and then colours which are more like my hair are cooler colours. But it's all, it's all relative. So you can, you can have a, a cool red or a very warm blue. It can be a bit confusing anyway. That's probably too much detail, too much information. So here we go. Catty is getting quite a lot more um, shading. You can see that on the right hand side, if you look at Catty's tail there, can you see that I've used a much darker um, la uh, pencil? So I've pressed harder with my pencil on the right hand side. So it's trying to show the light coming from the left and how the the tail is in shadow on the right and what i've done there is i've actually made up because if you look at the reference photo bring that up um, the reference photo is beautifully lit and um, doesn't have a shadow on either side so what i've done in the um, picture that i'm showing you is i've invented the light and sometimes we call that throwing the light when you imagine the light coming from a particular angle and i put those shadows in um, now if you go up really close hopefully you can see there some of that texture so i put those shadows in to stop it looking as though catty is floating right this is my uni posca pen i hope i've said that correctly and just like with an ink pen when you're using something like this on a picture that you really care about, then um, it's a good idea to use a piece of paper first. So use a scrap piece of paper just to check that it's not blobby and check it's the colour that you want. So I'm going in now. I hope you can see that I'm putting some of the texture on um, where the light catches Catty's fur. And you can see, I hope, that um, it's adding that kind of level of um, 
lovedness that Wilf's catty's got. And these ones here, they look really bright, don't they? So at the moment when they're going on, they look very bright. But remember I said I was going to do a couple of layers. So if you are watching last week when we were doing Zali's sharks, we were able to use layers of different colours. So we could build up a really rich colour by having a dark blue underneath and then a turquoise blue on top. And that's called optical mixing. But here what we're doing is I'm just going to go over the top with the grey pen again to um, to reduce the brightness um, because obviously catty if you look at the photo we keep having a check back it's really good to keep looking at your photo catty doesn't have any bright whites um, on him at all does he so um, we're not going to put those on but um, I'm still using that white pen to show the texture and the other thing if you remember that I was talking about with the white pen is it's really great for showing the light so it's it's what we can call turning the form so it's really showing if you look at my hand you can see so the the light is hitting this side and it's dark on this side so I'm using that light pen particularly like this so it's really along the edge it's really useful so it helps as well to show when a shape is in front so it helps bring Catty's arm forward in front of the leg and bring that leg forward in front of Catty's tail. Right now, I mustn't get carried away. We're, we haven't got much longer. We've only got 20 minutes and I need to finish Wilf's Catty portrait. So in a little while, when we've done our last couple of shout outs, I'm going to do the finishing touches with the ink on the portrait in real life while you watch. OK, so let's have a look in the chat and see if we've got someone else for a shout out. What have we got here? Oh, Minnie and Lulu. Okay, lovely. Right, now I think the dancing room is still a bit full of um, sleeping. Have a look at this. Look what's going on in there. Hello, hello, wakey, wakey. Yeah, okay, right. Yes, I know, it, you were just thinking with your eyes closed, were you? Okay, right, so, bestie, I'm gonna tuck you under there. There we go. You can just see, you can just watch like that, okay? But don't put Soggy Rabbit off because Soggy Rabbit has got important work to do doing this shout out. Right then, Soggy, we're gonna keep going with the blue pen. Are you ready? You need to take the lid off. There we are. Lovely. Okay, right then, Soggy. Are you ready? You're not ready. What's the matter? Oh, you need to know the spelling. Okay. Minnie and Lulu. M I double N I E. Okay, do you know how to spell Lulu? You do. Right, come on then. Now, have a think about this because we're going to have quite a lot to write on here. So I think you could start with the and. Would that be all right? Do you want to do a curly and? Of course you do. Okay, here we go. Let's put the and in. There, very good. Well done. And now you know what you're working around, don't you? Very good. Okay, here we go. Minnie and Lulu, I hope you're watching. Lovely. Oh, you've taken a leaf out of Bestie's book, haven't you? Okay, right. You think Minnie might like flowers? It's just a guess. Very good. Soggy, I don't know how you're doing this without looking at your page. Sometimes artists do that. Sometimes artists practice drawing without looking. That's really fun. Oh, Bestie likes doing that. Yes, why am I not surprised? Minnie and Lulu. Very good. Okay, off we go. I'm going to turn you around so you're watching because that looks a bit weird. And a little, let's have a little flourish there. Beautiful. Okay, Minnie and Lulu. 
Now let's get that lid on. Always remember to put the lid on your pen. Yes, very important. Well done, Soggy, because we don't want to uh, run out of juice in our pen, do we? No. Okay, would Minnie and Lulu like to come in the dancing room? Is that what you're asking? It is. Okay, Minnie and Lulu, are you ready? Okay, right, off we go. Done, Soggy. Very good. Okay, lovely. I hope you enjoyed that, Minnie and Lulu. Oh, you want to say goodbye? Okay, say bye-bye. Yep, kisses for Minnie and Lulu. Lovely. Well done, Soggy. Very good. Job well done. Okay, let's have a look at this drawing and see how it's getting on. So, this drawing is nearly caught up with the stage of the in real life drawing that I've got here. So, that's just a video. And you can see, as I was talking about before, I'm putting a, um, a light coat of dark pencil over the top of the white. And that's just, uh, it's called knocking it back. So it's knocking back the brightness. And hopefully, Wilf is starting to think, if you're watching Wilf, I hope you're thinking that this does look like your catty. I wonder if you've got catty with you. I know Tilda likes to watch this programme with her panda and nonny on her lap. Okay, so lovely. Right, and we've got another shout out request coming in. Thank you very much, guys. It's really lovely for having all these shout outs. I'm so glad you're enjoying them. And um, after the show, this is saved on my YouTube channel. So this will be saved as a video. So if you get a shout out, then you can find it on my channel later so you can have it as a souvenir right then so um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you for one last shout out come on then soggy we're going to have Kim okay Kim you're in luck soggy is all ready and excited. So you don't look very excited. Oh, you're excited on the inside, are you? Yes, okay. Lovely, right. So, Soggy, here's your pen. Take the lid off. Okay, now. Now, Kim is a lovely name to do a shout out because it's a short name, which means you've got lots of space for frills and fun. Okay. Right, have a think about it. Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, okay, already, lovely. Here we go, Kim. Very nice. Okay, do you think Kim would like a heart or a flower? Do you think Kim might like a heart? Okay, and do you think Kim might like some extra twirls? Okay, let's let's see if we can make this a little bit more twirly. Very nice. Oh, you'd like to put another heart down there. Okay, are you happy with that now, Sophie? You are. Okay, would you like to take Kim into the dancing room? You wouldn't? Why not? Oh, I see. You need to put your lid on. What a good rabbit you are, right. Yes, well done, thanks for telling me. Okay, come on then, let's take Kim into the dancing room. Everyone coming, don't forget your dancing shoes.
Right. So, um, sorry, that was meant to be, you were meant to be able to hear my voice, but there we go, the joy of live TV. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap my camera around onto my drawing board, which is in front of me. So this might take a second. Please bear with me. And I am going to show you how I finish this picture. Right. Let's have a go. Take my camera. It's a bit wobbly. Hopefully I can get that like that. There we go. Lucky I wasn't wearing my pyjamas, isn't it? Otherwise you'd be able to see them. Right, you can see my camera, can't you? That's fine though, because we're going to move around to here and let's get rid of that. There, as if by magic. So there's my hands. Okay, let me see if I can get this camera out of your way. There we go. And then we can see what's going on. Okay. Lovely. Can you see that all right? Lovely. Shall I stop saying lovely? No? Okay then. Right, so I've got a couple of things left to do here. Will, did you want a heart? Can you tell me if you want a heart? I think you just said catty. So, um, yeah. Did you hear from Wilf at all, Leon? Wilf just wanted Catty. Just wanted Catty. Okay, we'll go with that. And then Wilf, if you decide you want a heart, you're welcome to tell me. Right, I'm just going to move that. There we are. Right, now you can see. Sorry. There we are. Can you see okay? Right, so I'm going to write just Catty here. So I'm going to start by writing it in pencil, knowing that I can... Um, lose that afterwards and I've got a trick here to show you if you want to draw a straight line and you haven't got a ruler what you can do is you can run your hand along the side of the page or if it's a book or something and I've, I've fixed I've fixed my fingers in a kind of lock like that so I can easily draw a line and because Cathy's got a Y I need to have my title slightly higher so that there's room for the Y. And also, there we go, need to make it in the middle. So it's really handy that I've got the mount card here because I can see Catty's, exactly where Catty's name needs to go. Right, so I'm gonna start by just using my putty rubber, remember that? That's a very good friend. I highly recommend them. You can get them in any art shops, all sorts of brands. I find uh, they do vary a bit, so um, but they're not very expensive. So if you pop off, and I think they cost probably less than a good pencil, um, but you get lots of wear and use out of them. Okay, so you can see, I'll move that really close so you can see I've got the line ready. And um, as a friend observed, I know you're watching, hello, it is a little bit daring to do this live with ink. But um, I know you're all friends, so if I mess this up, you won't mind. And um, Wilf, if I mess this up, I'll draw your picture again. But hopefully I won't, because I have done it a lot of times before. I've written a lot of titles. So here we are. So I'm going to use the paper. Remember I said before, this is my ink pen here, my ink pot. And I'm going to take the lid off and dip the pen in. There we go, give it a wipe. Okay, oh, I'm just gonna stick my other light on. We have a bit of a fun and games with our lights. Right, this is a warm light, can you see? That was a cool light before, and now it's a warm light. Right, and um, first dip is always, the pen was really dry, so I'm gonna dip it in again. Okay, lovely, right. Hopefully I've got enough ink there. I'll move that out of the way. And I'm going to write Catty here very carefully, live on air. Here we go. You ready? There we are. Catty. 
and I'm going to use a pot of water. Looks dirty, but actually it's not that dirty. It's just got a little bit of ink in it just to rinse off my pen and I'm going to dry it with a tissue because it's uh, otherwise because the nib is made of metal can you see I don't know if you can see there that it's a metal nib um, if I don't keep it dry it will go rusty so it's really important to look after your equipment Let's get that water out of the way before we have an accident so now we have uh, one, two more things to do. Um, you may notice if we have a look, I'll show you again the reference photo. Have a look at Catty's eyes. Can you see that beautiful shine on Catty's eyes? So that's what we're going to put in now. So to do that, I use this white pen. And can you hear it's got a ball inside and it's got liquid? So again, because it's a liquid pen, I'm going to be very careful and I'm going to use my tester sheet again just to make sure it's not blobby. They're generally not blobby, these pens, and that it's coming out right. And then we're going to go for it with Catty's eyes. OK, maybe I can come in even closer. Can you see that all right? OK, right. Prepare for Catty's eyes to come to life. Here we go. If I can do that so you can see. One, two, okay. Where the can you see where the light catches Catty's eyes? And let's have a check at that reference photo again. Make sure we really have a good look at Catty's nose because it's a very special pink and yellow nose. Right. Is Catty's nose going to get a little bit of highlight action? There we go, because it is shiny. Lovely. Right. OK, Wilf, your picture is nearly finished. Last thing. Can you remember what the last thing is to do with a picture? Anyone remember? I'll give you a clue. It's down here. You can do it either side. And this is one of those times when I'm really glad that I've got the mount card. Because sometimes, if you don't do that, you can sign your picture, and when you frame it, it chops the signature off, or even worse, chops off half the signature. And then my name would be Gaff. Right, so I think, randomly, I'm going to go for this side, and it's always a good idea just to practice. So even though I've written my name lots of times before, I'm just going to check, okay, and check that the pencil's working. And I know where it's going to hit the page. Right, here we are. So, can you see that? There we go. Right then, Wilf, your picture is finished. I'll move that up a little bit so you can see. There we are. So, there is Catty. I will rub out Catty's, the, the, the pencil there when it's dry. And I'm going to just say a big thank you to everybody who's been watching. It's been so nice. I've really loved having you all here. It's lovely to see the chat. I can watch the chat afterwards. So I'm apologising to anybody I haven't managed to answer. Joseph and William are here. Lovely to see you. Thank you for joining again. And um, oh, Nonny is actually a polar bear. So we'll be drawing Nonny next week fantastic and thank you oh tilda is going to subscribe that's wonderful and then you can find um the um the show lovely oh i'm glad you like the last dance room fantastic so it's really nice to hear from you all i love it and i know that some of us are going to be going back to school um next week some of us have already been in school but i just wanted to say good luck to anyone who's going back to school next week and um, we're really looking forward to seeing the, te the children are looking forward to seeing the teachers. Leon, do you want to come in? Because you're going back to school next week, aren't you? But Leon will still be here on a Wednesday night. Yeah, every Wednesday I'll still be here. Okay, so thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, really nice. 
So um, lovely to see you. Please check out our YouTube channel. If you want to order a soft toy portrait, you can find it on my website. And please tell your friends because the more people who watch this, the more likely we are to carry on because we're having a lovely time, but it's no fun without you watching. So thank you so much to everyone who's joined in and chatted. I hope you've had as much fun as we have. And I hope you're going to have a nice sleep now like Mr. Sausages. Okay, right, so bye bye everyone. It's lovely to see you. Thanks again for joining. Thank you.